Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name is Tyrone and I'm in the middle of making a three-part series covering the fifth anniversary of Tomica Premium, uh, released 2019-2020. Uh, and I realise there's some assembly required. I'll just pan around a little if I can. There we are. This is a little bit of um, in the making of um, type thing. Um, I've come to that one there. Actually, I'll put you down. Um, I'm not sure if I'll air this video because uh, it might turn out to be complete rubbish. But yeah, I've, I've come along to the third video and this one's in it, this one's in it, and so is this one. And there is some assembling required, so I'll do this video to uh, have a bit of a yak about, well, I'll yak about Japan if you like. Um, this is where all of these came from, uh, on a holiday there in November. There is no help there. <laughs> In November 2019, I was there for my birthday. All right, should we give it a crack? Why not? I need that box for the third video dinner. All right, there's the box. This is way too many pieces. This is metal. This is all folly Oh dear. Oh, okay, that's plastic. That's metal. That's metal. That's plastic, and that's plastic. So the fuselage, most of the fuselage is metal, and this appears to be the stand. Gee, I did not expect so many pieces. But that's okay, we'll start off simple. We'll assemble whatever number this was, uh, number 24. Looks easy enough. Get my confidence up. Really? Is that it? Oh, okay. That leads me to believe uh, I can do it. Great. I won't uh, show you too much of that because that's number 24. Hey, that's cool. And we've got this one to go, so brace yourself. Um, if you're interested, we'll just crack on and, and figure out how to make an aeroplane. This is the J. ASDF, which is Japan Air Self Defense Force, T4 Blue Impulse, if you don't mind. Oh, that's a magnet. Oh, so, are we looking for more metal, or is that for the base? No. Okay, so nothing terribly complicated. He says. Yeah, so um my little jaunt to Japan. Um we went to a place called Fukuoka, uh down the very southern end of the country to see uh there we go to see some sumo wrestling and uh, I only went because my wife wanted to see sumo wrestling and I had a whale of a time it was no, maybe not it was one of those things that I used to watch it on TV as a kid. I used to broadcast it in New Zealand um, in black and white. And nobody really knew what was happening then either. Uh, oh, wait a second. We have to pull it apart again. But live on the scene in Fukuoka, we flew from Tokyo to Fukuoka. And... Uh, Let's go that way. 
Yeah, that seems right, doesn't it? So we get to this venue, and there are sumo walk sumo wrestlers walking around outside, and we thought maybe they're just doing what you do at a rock concert. You dress up as the person you're seeing. <laughs> But they were actually the stars of the show, unbeknown to me or any of us. Maybe the locals knew, I don't know. But um, sumo wrestlers aren't allowed to drive, so they, they have to walk everywhere. But we got into the... Uh, oh, that's all right. This thing's going to need a tail. I don't like my chances of getting that, that on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, we did it. So yeah, the uh, sumo wrestlers have to walk around everywhere. Looks like that should be up there. That looks right. Well, that goes in there, but that doesn't. Um, and the scoring system of sumo is complicated and everything is sort of revolved around psyching your opposition out why doesn't that work? what am I missing? no, that's fine Um, so the, the match itself might only last 5 or 10 seconds, sometimes longer, but often it's 5 or 10 seconds. And uh, the big lead up to it is um, what wins you the game. Let's see if we can see what they did in Japanese. So they throw salt around and they, they stomp about. Oh, I see. Is that right? There's options. Decisions to be, oops, decisions to be made. Ah, oh, okay. All right. I would have thought one goes in there, but... It's if he's um, taking off. Mm, who knows? It might be a one size fits all on the base, so we'll just leave it like that and put his tail back on for him. Yeah, so they, they stomp around a bit, psych each other out. That's not quite. <laughs> That's not quite how it goes. Uh, and when they get down to business, they um, pretend to get up and the other one kind of gets up in anticipation. And then uh, the other one sits down and or crashes back down and everyone gets all upset with each other. But they've got a certain amount of time to get on with it. So uh, when they finally get going, They've, they've annoyed each other to the point where they can't concentrate, or at least that's the goal. So uh, it's highly fascinating, and uh, I'm glad I went. As I say, I only went there to please my wife, because it was her wish if she got to Japan again. She'd been before. Um, that stands a bit dodgy, isn't it? If, we went, if, if she got to Japan again, she wanted to see Sumo. So that's how we found ourselves in Fukuoka, Japan. A lovely town. We'll put this on because we know what we're doing. He says. There we are. Hmm. And this one, whoops. Gee whiz. This one's a JASDF F35 Lightning II. This is an American plane, isn't it? Now, 
large amount of parts. Larger than I'm comfortable with, but we'll see how we go. Nice box. Um, not a lot of metal on this one. Hmm. Should we see if we can decipher? Yeah, okay. So you'd imagine that goes on the bottom that way, that one there, that one's tail, that one's there. So I won't jump into this one. I'd say that holds a lot of it together. Or maybe it doesn't. Which way are the wings? That way are the wings. That way up. And from there we went to Nagasaki. And uh, again, lovely place. But um, mm, don't want to jam that on, do I? I'm thinking that way. There we go. Look at that. It's easy once you know how. So yeah, Nagasaki is, is obviously um, significant for the bad thing that happened in the latter part of the Second World War, dropping the bomb and all. The Pope was there that day, and uh, we didn't know um, he was coming. He didn't tell us. Why would he? Maybe it's up that way. I won't put it on too tightly because I might have to take it off again. Yes, I do. Um, and we thought all the crowd was gathering for the memorial that we were going to visit. And it's like, and it was raining. It was a really rainy day. And we thought, oh, people don't like crowds. And then we realised it wasn't about the monument. Everyone was gathering because the Pope was about to rock up. So that was interesting. We saw his motorcade zip by, like they were in a big old hurry. I'm not sure about this stand, you know. Mm, there we go. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to Japan, I highly recommend it. How do they look? Are we ready for uh, part three of the video? Or should we just leave it at that? Let's get on with part three. Um, yeah. The reason why I'm waffling on about Japan is um, this is where all these cars and aeroplanes and tanks came from uh, on a trip there in November 2019. So with the planes assembled and the wing on the race car put in place, I'll uh, wrap this up and we can get on with the third part. I'll see you then. Bye.